Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to look at Leaf's all new spring garden event. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So today marks the first day of the spring season and with winter now well and truly out of the way, it's time for all new spring events. And what better way to kickstart the spring than Leaf making an appearance with his all new spring flower event. Starting on the 27th of February, Leaf will be visiting to host the third garden event this year. Working in much the same way as Rover and Lottie's events, Leaf will give us the chance to grow a brand new type of flower while searching for all new creatures. The event is expected expected to last until the 10th of March and be divided up into two parts just like the previous garden events. This time around we'll have the chance to grow white clover flowers with yellow and pink sleeping beauties. Throughout part one we'll be focusing around growing white clovers and yellow sleeping beauties in the hopes of catching pink and yellow ladybugs. With part two also growing white clover flowers but with pink sleeping beauties in hopes of catching navy and purple ladybugs. Of course the event will include a bunch of time goals and events event rewards for collecting our creatures. The rewards include furniture from the floral series and include multiple chances at earning all new items such as floral canals, floral stepping stones, floral canal corners and round spring flower beds. Other items include a floral swinging bench, a giant windflower, a giant clover and some awesome new clothing items. Each part of Leaf's spring flower event will also include a reward for unlocking a spring flower foreground garden and a spring flower middle ground garden terrains. These two rewards are super awesome and will really change the look of our camps, but they will be the second from last goals in each half of the event, making them slightly more difficult to complete. With that said, we should all be pretty good at garden events by now and I don't think anyone will have a problem and I'm sure it's going to be super fun. Just make sure you have a bunch of active friends ready for the event and remember to always leave like four fully bloomed flowers so people can share their creatures with you and of course don't forget to share your creatures with them. That way it will be a lot easier for people to catch ladybugs and we can all start earning the awesome new spring floral furniture. Throughout the event we'll also be able to trade in all of the flowers we've harvested for things like potted versions of each flower and most most likely more flower food, crafting materials and essences. This will be a great way to grow some flowers quickly if you're getting low on flower food. If you are struggling at any time during the event, there will also be special offer in-app purchases to buy extra flower food and leaf tickets if you feel that will help you out, but personally I think you'll be fine. So yeah, Lottie's garden event was a lot easier than Rover's, so I think the Pocket Camp team have done a great job at balancing out the random spawn rates, so I can't imagine this event being any more difficult than the last. So yeah, that's that about wraps up the events surrounding Pocket Camp right now. We still have a few days to prepare, so make sure you've got a bunch of active friends added. If you got this far in the video, please comment Clover just to let me know you did. That would be super awesome. And be sure to include what you think about Leaf's spring flower event. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.